Hello, Year 7, and welcome back to your music lessons. This is Lesson 8, and this lesson being on musical analysis. As usual, before we get started, if you're looking for any previous videos on these lessons, they can be found on YouTube. Uh, the top box of this slide, I have put a link that if you copy and paste, will lead you to a playlist on YouTube. Uh, on this playlist has all my previous uh, lessons, all the videos of my previous lessons, so you can go back and look over them. Uh, make sure to go have a look at any of the previous lessons that you have not completed, because having an understanding of previous lessons will help you in completing this lesson and lessons in the future effectively. For today's lesson, the lesson objective is to understand how to analyse the emotional message of a song through assessing terminology. Sounds complex, but basically what that is saying is you are using the terminology that we've been looking over the past few weeks. So, for example, dynamics, uh, and you are assessing how that terminology is used and how that creates an emotional emotional sort of idea in a song. So uh, dynamics are quiet, and this means it could be sad or intimate. So the red box on the left, uh, at the very least there, you should be able to identify some of the techniques used and describe the song using partially correct terminology. So you'll identify some of the techniques used and you're starting to use them kind of correctly to describe the song, but there's a, a bit of misconception there. So make sure you keep an eye on how you're describing the song. Once you're able to do this, the yellow box on in the middle, uh, you should be able to use the terminology that you have learnt effectively in describing your chosen song. You are also able to give some idea of the song's emotional message. So you're really effectively showing a good understanding of the terminology and how to use it to describe a song. And you're also starting to give some description of the emotional message of a song, but it's not fully, fully there yet. It's just like the overall idea rather than using each bit of terminology to really describe the song. Then on the very right, the green box, uh, you are able to analyze your chosen song in depth using terminology to effectively and clearly describe the message of the song. So you're really using the terminology with, uh, effectively and clearly, and you're describing the message of the song using little points and little points of the terminology to maybe give different ideas and different versions of how the song might be taken. And then if you really want to challenge yourself, uh, you further challenge yourself by choosing to analyze Mars, the bringer of war, as your chosen song. So you'll get a choice of three songs. Uh, the hardest of them is Mars, the bringer of war. It's a classical piece. There's no lyrics to it, so you can't get an idea of that. The only thing that has you really sort of helping you understand what the song might be about or the emotional message of the song is the title. Uh, so it's really, really important that you really use all the bits of terminology to really describe a song. As said, it's also a big classical piece with a full orchestra, so there's a lot going on at once. So it's really quite a hard song to analyse. If you really want to challenge yourself, and I know there's some of you that will be able to, make sure you have a go at doing that. So, uh, your analysis essay. So your task. Choose one of the three songs below. So these songs being Yesterday by The Beatles, uh, song two is Heaven on Their Minds by Andrew Lloyd Webber. And then the third one, which we've already mentioned, is Mars, The Bringer of War by Gustav Holtz. Uh, on the right side of each of those songs, I have put a link, which you can copy and paste, which will lead you to videos of the songs, so you can have a listen to them properly. Uh, once you have chosen one, answer the question below in the form of an essay. So, what techniques does your chosen song use to convey its emotional message. I'll read that again. What techniques does your chosen song use to convey its emotional message? So please answer that question. You can write that question at the top and then answer it in the form of an essay. So in the form of essay means that this work must be at least half a page of grammatically correct sentences. So I'm not looking for bullet points, not looking for one word answers. I'm looking for grammatically correct sentences. Then once you've done that, uh, make sure to use all the terminology that we've been studying over the past half term in your writing. And the example I've given here is the dynamics are quiet. This me makes the song sound sad emotionally because and then so on. So that'd be sort of an example of how you can start a sentence. I've done dynamics, but you can do exactly the same for texture or pitch as we've been studying and looking into. Uh, well done. Please complete the lesson. 
see you soon.